and gentlemen, welcome back. A question I hear and I see and I, I just feel like people don't know the answer is how do I identify the size of universal joint I need when I'm working on a non-factory application? And basically, I have a drive shaft, I have a rear end, I have whatever this thing may be that uses a universal joint, and I don't know what size universal joint it is. I'm going to show you how to measure the universal joint to figure out what size universal joint you need. So I have here two universal joints. And the first thing you need to know about universal joints is they use two styles of, of retaining clips. Some universal joints use what's known as an external style retaining clip. And basically, you'll have a little clip that looks like this that sits outside of the U-joint cap and prevents it from being able to escape the yoke or whatever it's pressed into. For an internal clip, an internally retained universal joint, the joint will have a clip on the inside edge, as you can see right here. And that clip retains the cap from being able to escape as well. Both styles do the same thing. It's just a difference of where that retaining clip is located. And typically this is determined based on space constraints or universal joint availability or exactly what it is the manufacturer of the part was trying to accomplish. You do need to measure these styles of joints differently. External clip joints are measured one way, internal clip joints are measured a different way. Okay, like I said, you measure the universal joint based on the style of retaining clip it uses. And in some cases, you may have both styles of clip, internal and external, on the same joint. If that's the case, you'll need what is commonly referred to as an adapter joint. When you're looking for an adapter joint, you'll need to find a 1310 to 744 adapter joint, or whatever the joint code may be. I'll put a chart of the U-joint size specifications and that U-joint code right here. Now this information is commonly available online, so if you don't like the chart that I've showed you, feel free to look up the information elsewhere wherever you feel most comfortable. Now, when you're measuring your U-joints, you need essentially two dimensions. You need to know the diameter of the U-joint cap, and you need to know the distance from one location to the other across the U-joint. Now the reason I say it that way is on externally retained universal joints, you measure from the top of the cap to the top of the opposite cap. On an internally retained universal joint, you measure from the inside edge of the inside clip to the inside edge of the opposite side clip. And you still need to know the cap diameter. The easiest way I know to take these measurements is with a set of precision calipers. I have a digital set here. But you take your caliper and first find out your U-joint cap diameter. So you place your calipers on. You want the, cal the cap to be as clean as possible. And I'm getting a reading of 1.060 inches for the U-joint cap diameter here. Now just to be safe in case there's dirt or distortion on that cap, I'm going to check another cap 
1.061. So it's fairly safe to say all the caps on this U-joint are 1.060 diameter. Now, since this is an externally retained universal joint, meaning the clips go on the outsides to retain it, I need to measure the outside edge to outside edge distance. I'm going to use my same tool, my precision calipers, and I'm going to measure outside edge to outside edge. And I get 3.226. I'll check the other side since this is a symmetrical U-joint. Make sure my caps are fully seated. And I get 3.221. Let's rotate these a little bit, check again. And now I get 3.222. So again, I can be fairly confident that the outside to outside measurement on this U-joint is about 3.221, 3.222. And you'll be able to tell when you look at your sizing chart the measurement that you're closest to. Now this joint has internal retaining clips. So for the internal retaining clips, I'm gonna take my calipers. I'm gonna close them up real quick just to make sure they're still zeroed, and they are. And then I'm gonna measure from the inside edge of the retaining clip groove to the inside edge. And I get 2.606. So I'll use those dimensions, I'll look at the sizing chart, and I'll find the universal joint that matches my measurements. Now this is a good example of an adapter joint. This dimension is an externally retained clip meaning the retainer clip goes on the outside of the joints. This dimension is internally retained. So I measure from the retainer clip grooves. Now, when I try to replace this joint, I'm going to look up an adapter joint or an 1310 to, I believe this was a 744 adapter joint. Now these are commonly available joints. More than likely you're not gonna be able to go to your local auto parts store and say, I need a 1310 to 726 adapter joint. Unless you're fortunate and have a very knowledgeable uh, person working there, they're not gonna know what you're looking for. But you can find these online and just Google search the joint that you need. 1310 to 726 U-joint or whatever it may be. This end is externally retained on both sides, so it's just a standard size joint. In this circumstance, it's a 1310. And again, you'll be able to look all of this up based on the sizing chart. So I have here in this box, my replacement universal joint. You can see that it has internal retaining clips on one set. It's set up for external retaining clips on the other set. And I took all my measurements, match this up. And if you can see, it's an exact match. Same with my other joint here. I didn't know what size joints I needed. So I took measurements, referenced the chart, and here I have another joint that's an exact match for the old one. So if you ever need to find a universal joint and you go to the auto parts store, the stock application doesn't fit and they don't know how else to help you, all you need is a way to measure those U-joint caps and measure the diameter of the U-joint caps. Distance across and diameter. If you can measure those two dimensions fairly accurately, either with a micrometer or a set of precision calipers, 
you should be able to find on the chart and match up the size of U-joint that you need, and then use Google, use the internet to find a part number for the exact joint you need for your application. I hope this helps you, everybody. This is something that I get asked often. I mean, when I needed these joints, I went down to the local auto parts store and they had no clue. Uh, fortunately, I know how to measure these and I'm able to find the part numbers myself. But, uh, you know, a useful piece of information that'll help you, especially when you're building custom applications, you're putting parts together that were never together from the factory. This should help you get that project on the road. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.